Hey, it's Justice Malay. I'm from South Haven, Mississippi. I'm 25 years old. I'm super excited to make this video for you today. I wanted to have more of a conversation uh, so you get sort of a genuine first impression of me. I was born in California, the 11th of 12 children. My mother moved us all the way out here to Mississippi to raise us with our grandma. And uh, you know, you can imagine how hard it is to feed t uh, 12 mouths in one household. So needless to say, we grew up in, in poverty. All of my brothers went straight into work to kind of help with the finances. I worked in service myself, but was fortunate enough to be my mother's first son to graduate high school. Uh, when I got into college, I became a salesman at Discount Tire. I worked my way and put myself through a four year degree in chemical engineering. And I'm now a chemical process manager at a cyanide plant in here in Memphis, Tennessee. And we produce the same cyanide that you see in the movies. You know, the spy gets caught and he breaks off his tooth bites down on a vial, you know, foams at the mouth, hail hydra kind of thing, and then boom, lights out. It's very nasty stuff, but I love it. And I love being an engineer. And, and quite frankly, I'm good at it. One thing that sets me apart over all of my colleagues are skills that I learned uh, uh, growing up in such a, a large family. You know, uh, I was the 11th of 12, so that means I was at the bottom of a totem pole. The 12th was the baby, and you know he's number one. So everything that I wanted, I had to scratch, claw, and bite for arguing became a second language for me. When I got into sales, I realized that negotiating is nothing more than politely arguing. So all I had to do was fine tune some of my tactics, create a strategy that worked for me, and I still use that strategy as an engineering manager today. Uh, I've got guys with 30, 40 years more experience than me. If I want something done my way, I have to negotiate uh, to, to get it done. And how I do that is I, lead, I ask leading questions kind of guide them down a path where the end result is something that I want, but I let them arrive at it so they get to take credit, they get to play the hero, while in reality, they're just a puppet in my puppet show. Um, but it's it's pretty much a win-win because you stroke their ego and then you do what they say and, and tell them it's a great idea and you earn their trust. And that's the important thing. That's what I'm gonna bring to Survivor because frankly, I've never seen it uh, deployed in such a way that I want to. I've been you know, tweaking this strategy in my professional life for four years. I believe I'll be the best at it in Survivor and uh, gain people's trust very easily, but in reality, I'm the one pulling the strings. I'm super excited to see the Survivor crew in, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, I'll be at the open casting call. That'll be awesome. I cannot wait to see what comes of this. Uh, I know you're gonna have more questions for me, so I'll put my number on the application. You can call me anytime. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks.